the will as it relates to addiction. Um, you know, that is a subject that's not really touched upon by most therapists or uh, addiction specialists. Um, but, you know, what's really looked at um, commonly is the behaviors of individuals, right? And especially individuals that suffer from substance abuse, right? And then there's an attempt made to change those behaviors, right? But, you know, the will or the motivating factors behind those behaviors aren't often discussed in depth because it's not something that can be scientifically studied, right? So you can't measure the will, you can't weigh the will, right? But you can measure brain activity, say, right? So what happens is there are attempts by psychiatrists and therapists to change the behavior from the top down, right? But I think what we do a good job of here is we work with the client to explore the motivating factors, right? The drives that make up the will. We've had clients come in, um, their main coping mechanism was the actual substances they used, right? Um, that's how they were able to cope with life. Um, and then when you take those substances away, right, they become very uncomfortable. Um, and at, at some point, they begin that work and, you know, with the therapist. Um, and you, you get to see those changes over time. You get to see them, you know, I've seen, uh, you know, clients um, sort of go into a phase of introspection where, you know, one day they're very loud and boisterous and then all of a sudden, the next day I see them, they are, you know, quiet. They are more thoughtful. You know, they're beginning to gain a perspective of their own um, thought processes, their own behavior. You know, they gain that what's called a meta perspective, right? So it's observing themselves as, as the, and so that's really, that's when you begin to increase insight, right? So an individual begins to see themselves and begins to think about, okay, well, what's going on behind these actions, these behaviors that I display. If the client continues the hard work, then they come out the other side of that, you know? There's a kind of rebirth, you know? Um, and that's the goal here, you know? The goal is to have that, that fundamental shift in the will, right? In those driving, motivating factors. And at that point, you begin to see an individual start to experience themselves and the world in a whole new light. In a way, they start to relearn a lot of things. I think treating the client holistically, right, and not just seeing them as a set of behaviors that need to be changed, I think that's an important part, right? I, I, oftentimes, that's a mistake that's made by um, um, people who provide treatment is that, okay, the goal is to change the behavior. They see the client as a set of behaviors, right? But instead, we sort of try to see the client holistically as a person with motivations, with drives, with a history, and all of those things are explored with the client, right? And then there is a strategy that's that's developed with the client about how to make small changes and these small changes add up to um, you know a large profound change so that's 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 definitely I think what sort of you know the holistic treatment is what sets us apart from other treatment facilities